Far from the flowery fields that are their natural homes, honeybees imperiled by pesticides in rural Colombia are now finding sanctuary on university campuses in Bogota. Biologists in apiaries are now studying ways to conserve bees, even though hives are banned from Colombia's cities. Due to the risk that the insect stings can pose to humans, universities have now found a legal window to use these apiaries for research. In Bogota, for instance, the EAN University boasts of its own hives. They are perched on a six-story building overlooking the city. Researchers say that bees are fleeing the fields due to indiscriminate use of agrochemicals from the EN University grounds. The bees help to pollinate plants in surrounding areas. <laughs> Hundreds of hives have been killed off in Colombia in recent years and investigations into the cause have pointed to fipronil, an insecticide banned in Europe and restricted in the United States and China. Fironel has been widely used in a profitable avocado and citrus boom in Colombia, though the country suspended its use in some crops for six months last year. At the University of Rosario in Argentina, surrounded by tree and flowers, researchers study colonies of bees in a rooftop apiary. The team hopes to develop a food supplement that will offer the critical crop pollinators protection from insecticides. The team's work focuses on the western honeybee, one of about 20,000 known species worldwide. One way to understand what happens to bees is that pesticides end up affecting some neurological regions that, for example, affect learning and memory, and they end up with damage very similar to Alzheimer's. Through nutrition, we seek to offer a solution precisely for the problem of the disappearance of bees. We seek to shield the bees in essence. Biologists at the university very carefully feed bees some sugar water, watching attentively as a bee stretches its straw-like tongue towards a sweet liquid. According to a 2016 study, about 1.4 billion jobs and three quarters of all crops around the world depend on pollinators, mainly bees, which provide free fertilization services worth billions of dollars. The UN warns that nearly half of insect pollinators, particularly bees and butterflies, risk global extinction. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.